Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a mixed analog and digital design simulation in Altium Designer. So let's get started. Here we have a digital to analog converter and what it takes is uh, four zeros to a maximum of four ones on the digital side on the left and outputs an equivalent output 10 volts inverted from the digital signal Okay, so for our maximum values of 1111, we should get around negative 10 volts based on how this loop is designed. Let's go ahead in the Altium simulation dashboard and see if this actually works as intended. So we'll start verification and we can do an analysis to set up and run this. Now I've set my circuit to output my digital signals on the left and my analog signal on the right okay to find your digital signals all you have to do is go to your output expressions go to your waveforms choose digital and then it will show you the d in front of your net voltage or your node voltage name and that will be your digital signal okay you would want to put the digital signals on their own plot so plot number one axis one for each of the digital signals and give them your their unique colors on the same plot. For the output voltage, I recommend putting any of your um, analog signals on their own plot. Okay, so plot number two, okay? And then you can find them by choosing your node voltage and V out. So once that's set up, we can run our simulation for about 10 milliseconds and then we can see what the results turn out to be. So as the simulation's running, I can already see some issues here. It looks like the output needs a bit of filtering or isolation from the raw signal. So we'll need a buffer. And also I'm noticing that my output isn't quite hitting the maximum values I designed it for. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this circuit and also notice something else here. I'm not getting my maximum because I don't get the value ever of 1111 on any of my digital signals. So that's a problem. I'll have to adjust the timing on them let's go into the circuit and i double click on each of my digital signals here and notice the delay so this is set at zero for the starting time delay and i have a time delay of a half of a millisecond let's change this to one full millisecond delay and then for my third digital signal this will be two milliseconds and then for the final digital signal, it'll be three milliseconds of delay. That way they fully overlap. Um, and I get my one, 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 one when that U5 comes on. Okay. The next thing I do is add a buffer circuit on the output. Okay. So let's go ahead and place a part here. I'll place an, a unity gain amp. So here I'll just look for op amp and I'd make sure I look for this under simulation generic components. So I've got my op amp here. All right, I'm going to hit cancel out of that. Now double click on this and change this to one. So then I'll hang this here for a little bit and delete this wire and use the Y key to flip this or uh, vertically. So now when I connect this up with this wire. I'm going to make a little circuit around this here, like I normally would do for any buffer circuit. I drag this net name on the output of that buffer. Well, now let's add a resistor. So I'd go to uh, place part and I can look for a resistor under my simulation generic components. Add that right in there. Let's add my capacitor. Okay, place that. Wire my circuit. Then I'll copy this ground over and place it right here and finish my connection. 
I'll change this resistor to 125 ohms and the capacitor to something small like 5 picofarads. I will go to tools and annotate schematic. Then I'll rerun my simulation again and see what happens. Okay, so you see how I added those delays in there so I could see that 1111 signal on the on the output. All right, so the simulation is finished. I will fit the waveform and the analog side to see if I'm actually hitting around that negative 9 to 10 volts that I'm looking for on my output and sure enough it's it's hitting about that okay that looks great so uh this is how you can adjust your digital signals in something like a digital to analog converter in your mix signal simulations in ltm designer thanks for watching